Despicable Me is, well, it's an interesting movie. I certainly don't hate it. However, as the series progressed, it got more and more Nah, particularly Minions in the third one, but the first one is one of my guilty pleasures. I don't know what it is specifically about it. I've only made like one video on Despicable Me before, where I calculated the power of Gru's shrink ray. It was an interesting but very old video, and right now, I have found an even more insane device. Gru's signature weapon, the Freeze Ray. How cold is it? This isn't unlike what I calculated for Kirby, who can breathe freezing air. We can even use the same crazy formula I partially derived so long ago in tandem with a physicist redditor. So how cold is it? Well, I can already tell you that I think it'll break the boundaries of absolute zero, which is physically impossible, but how far does it truly go? How low and distant does it actually break the laws of physics? I'm going to calculate it. Hello, I'm the Theorizer, and here's the equation. It's far more scary than it looks, I can assure you, but really, it's just the energy of the beam, plus the energy of the ice block, plus the energy of the person being frozen, plus the energy of the air turning to ice, but I rearranged the hell out of it and expanded it into something that looks horrifying for my horrendous dramatic flair. We have to alter it a bit since we'll be looking at it when Gru tests it on this chubby man in the cafe whose ice block around him isn't a cone like Kirby's was. No big deal, we can go through this step by step. Most of this is actually really easy and we can look most of it up. Things such as the freezing point of water, the capacity for heat in ice, air, and humans, the average room temperature and human temperature, latent heats of icy fusion, air and ice density, and what we can't look up, we can measure. Most of what we need, we already have. All we need now is to measure Gru's test target so we can find his height and weight. Height is something that will be tricky, because according to the confirmed heights of minions, Gru would be like 14 feet tall, which isn't at all consistent with logic, or the fact that everyone around Gru is only slightly shorter than him, meaning if everyone was that tall it would mean they'd be super heavy, thereby meaning the gravity would be greater, and the only obvious cause for that would be a closer moon, and we see it only takes Gru minutes to reach it, also it consumes the night sky unrealistically, hold on, nope, that can't work. Illumination movies are known for having very inconsistent scaling, so we have to estimate his true height at around six and a half feet by comparing him to everyone else and the average human height. So that's that. We can use that here without much of the answer being affected anyways. Based off of that, this man is only slightly shorter than Gru, and mixing that with his observed body mass index, which is quite high, we can solve for a rather expected weight of 112 kilos or 250 pounds. Once again, using Gru's probable measurements, we can calculate the volume of the freezing air around the beam, like how much space this beam takes up. The beam is a long cylinder shape, and since air density is 1.2 kilograms per cubic meter, and volume times density is mass, we can compare Gru to it, and we find that, in this specific instance, the icy beam is around 0.24 kilograms in total. One final time using his measurements, we can find the volume of this ice cube, remembering to subtract out the human inside. Rectangular prisms such as this are just length times width times height, and bada bing bada boom! We have the mass of the ice, including the dude inside, which is a hefty one. 1.9 metric tons, and with that, I think we have it all. All I need to do now is constrain this ridiculous equation into my mini little swift blue-hued Texas Instruments calculating machine of utter greatness that I should endorse like the god of mathematics that it is. <gasps> Gru's icy beam is a horrifically disastrous and bluntly impossible negative 453,000 Kelvin. That breaks every known law of everything and is approximately the same in Celsius. In Fahrenheit, that's around negative 815,000 degrees. What the shit? Negative Kelvin doesn't even exist. I assume that negative 453,000 Kelvin would closest relate to approximately 1 453,000 of a Kelvin, which would probably be the closest comparison I could think of. That's breaking every law of everything, that's physically impossible, and do you know what it means? It means that Gru's little freezing ray is impossible in real life. 
That is, unless, of course, it doesn't shoot just coldness. If it were to truly work, there would need to be some truly amazing chemical process behind how it shoots out to create the ice, because the freezing air it beams out can in no possible way be that cold. It makes me question who created it. Luckily, I found something of lore substance that will be in my upcoming hidden story Despicable Me theory. In the Minions movie, when they go to the villainous Comic-Con place, in the very background you can see an amazing cameo that brings more background to the first few movies. Gru is there with his mom, and we see a young Dr. Nefario at his own exhibit demonstrating the power of his freezing ray. He created it. Oh, this is an excellent transition to the next video. Is this where they met? How did their relationship develop? As you can see, these movies do have some substance behind them. They're not as mindless as they let on, so I'm gonna hit this next time. For now, go home with one major tidbit of knowledge. Pretty much all of Gru's tech is impossible. This is because Illumination has scaled their movies completely wrong. The moon is utterly huge, and unless this has some deeper lore meaning, it's all physically broken. And it's not just because it's an animated kids movie. As I've said before, DreamWorks and Disney seem to get all of their physics bang on, to the point where even my calculations line up perfectionistically. So with all that being said, Gru is not 14 feet tall. If you want to see my upcoming video where I dissect the past of Gru and Dr. Nefario, click the subscribe button and the bell next to it and then select all notifications because YouTube makes it so hard for you to see my new videos. Until next time, I'm The Theorizer.